I just picked me up a bicycle. It's in the shop right now, uh, getting fixed. But uh, it's a uh, uh, we twenty probably, year old. We should probably talk about that when Erickson gets on here. Oh, hey, is Erickson showing up today? Should did he think maybe we were only doing tomorrow and not today? No. No. Let's see if Elon has <laughs> tweeted anything about keeping people after work today. Yeah, let's check it out. He's having a meeting. <laughs> Any, <laughs> Any yeah. There he is. He might be. Is he muted? Look at oh, him. No, I don't know. What, I, 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 I delegated. I did it already. You should be unmuted. I unmuted. Oh, oh there me? you go. Oh, okay. He weren't saying anything. I said hello, boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. We over talked you. Nobody said anything yeah. back. I was like, "All right, we're fucking with you." Am I a ghost? ghost? Did you're I a die? ghost? You're dead. Yes. How did you log on if you're a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can. Yeah. Well, I'm getting in the weed already early today. I did a I did a fair amount of exercise. Uh, watching Cheers. marathoners. Yeah, I mean that turned out to be more. Ex that was it. I watched the marathon and that was my exercise, but I crossed two bridges and walked way further into Springfield than I wanted to. Uh, it's Springfield's like a, uh, I don't know. It's the asshole cousin town to Eugene. And, uh, and it was, uh, I had to go way into town to get across the bridge. Although I could have just, I found it. I just not on my game because normally I would just cut across and do what I wanted. Oh, I've I, seen you do that before. Yeah. Because I could <laughs> have been in Portland where you fucking ended up having to go to the hospital or had to get surgery or something, didn't you? Well, no, I just was late. I missed a few games. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, they had a, a, well, you can't, there was areas you couldn't cross. And then I just, I, I didn't want to go into Springfield. And I was like, I was determined to go down there. And it was about two miles to make the corner. So there you go. That's fucking persistence. Like them ladies that did the marathon today, put uh -huh. in some time and shit, and they trained. I didn't. <laughs> and I was just trying to get on TV with Stan Hopes. I had the, the termites jersey. Yeah, I got a good picture of her. The ladies don't look thrilled that I'm taking, you know. That yeah, you look right. a little creepy. I was yeah. going to say, that's a. I was well. I even one guy at that standing all earlier. by himself. Yeah, next there, there I am, and that's me right back. That's the front yeah. runners. Yeah, and then where Shaylee is is where I am in the picture. Well, you, I could. I, I noticed you in all of those pictures, and then there was just that close-up picture of that aggravated looking lady, and I was like, is he just trying to take a picture of her? I think ass? she quit. I think uh, she quit not long after that. She was pissed off about something. Yeah. I tried to offer. I didn't want to. I didn't know what to say. I just kind of impulsively went out there. I, uh, I saw the course, they did the dudes, and then they did the ladies the next day, so I saw what the course was, and it repeats, and on that, that bridge, I'm over here, and there's a cop riding towards wait, me. Wait, wait, Andy, you're, you're touching your oh, screen saying, right. I'm over here. Okay, well, the motorcycle's coming towards me, and it's like it looks like right. it could and be an assassination. The motorcycle is right here. Yeah. Like over I, there, okay. Jaylee, over there. <laughs> with a quick, with a quick reach around because they would nobody checked me i was just there <laughs> i could have shot that uh, i could have had more than Why a camera. Do you say that well i'm just saying it's like uh, it's it's uh it's weird that you can be that close to upsetting of the course You're already something. creepy enough hanging out on the side it's of the just, i was just taking a picture but a cops are right there that's what like john lee harvey man and he wasn't the only one that had that thought today all the other runners were thinking this that guy got a gun oh, yeah, right that's right. why they're they're like, i can't go on i'm too upset yeah, that's it's why just she a quit. She's like, it's a, it's a weird ass. impulse to go. There's two two ladies here, and they're on TV. And I'll run out. I mean, I saw a lot of people do it at the men's. That's why I didn't do it at the ladies. It's like I'm not going to try to run alongside marathoners. You can do it, <laughs> and and you can keep pace with them, but you're a fucking asshole. Here, here, uh, here you go. Right. Well, that, okay. So that's the first bridge I, I walked on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the chicks coming. I mean, lady runners. <laughs> chicks. And these are, these are actually their chicks because they weren't the front pack. <laughs> oh, so you can uh, denigrate was, their, uh, their ability. But the two ladies in the USA right here got fourth and fifth. Not bad. I gave them a little encouragement. Right. Yeah. Not there. What way? Yeah. And, uh. but, but later across, 
when they came by, this one lady was yelling, uh, and then I go, uh, USA, and then I said, you can do it. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You know, it was like, it seems stupid that people say, keep going, <laughs> or you got this. Your body's shutting down and your cabs are blowing up and you might shit yourself, but you got this. How yeah, does, but does it Andy, you, you've what? run a marathon before. I ran one. I, I'm going to tell you the thing that I was most surprised about is how much, honestly, how good that felt that people were cheering for you from like mile like 22 on, even though you're dead. You're like, people are cheering for you. It just, I just not about it. It. Like, it just gets in your head, like, oh my God, I actually, maybe I'm not a piece of shit. But I was maybe I'm do doing that. something. I stopped are myself from saying, like, yeah, I would be a good heckler. Like, have you really given any thought to why you're doing this? What are See? you really running from? Just I'm like, glad you weren't out there. I would have stopped. <laughs> yeah. Started crying. yeah, there's just too much that can go wrong with heckling uh, multi national events <laughs> <laughs> you know you say one thing wrong well, and all of a sudden it's like that's I hate. definitely true especially if you uh if you piss somebody off and they proceed to chase after you you know you're not going to be able to outrun them so well um, there was i mean when they quit there's a couple of ladies there towards you you know it's a, i don't know they must have to qualify at a time or whatever but there was a few ladies that, you know, I mean, it happens to a good runner. Or, I mean, it happens to the best of them. And they may have been potential winners of it, but they just, you shut down for whatever reason. You yeah. didn't have enough something or you you didn't recover enough from something too. and you get fucking blown up. And I was there, to, but I didn't, you know, I was going to say, go girl, you know, fucking, st you know, I just don't say that. Yeah. It's yeah. like, get ah, man. So I just, I, I mean, mean just I wanted say, to cheer, but yeah, I didn't know what on. to say. Like your panties yeah you guys all have the best asses i can always tell you marathon girls <laughs> i can tell I you the from the i think the volleyball girls that have something uh yeah. something to say about that well keep running ladies you got great asses you don't got much for tits but i really do yeah. appreciate your and they're rolling derby dollars. girlfriends and beat the shit out yeah. of yeah <laughs> it would be that would be really like a weirdest like if if uh i mean you know like you want anybody can achieve their dream but what if it was a big titted marathoner you know <laughs> and she's just as good as the other girls but it was just like holy shit man we can't even cover this it's it's like it's like elvis presley doing his uh, pelvis thing uh, just to see that uh, it would be i would watch you know i mean i watch it anyway so I'd definitely be I maybe no more no more what to say. Go jugs or whatever. You got this big. Go oh, jugs. Well, she'd probably have a nickname by the time she hit. Well, the maybe you, maybe you could do so. you could use go jugs because none of them would think you were talking about them. Yeah. <clears throat> there was a there was a few few cowbell shakers. I don't think that that helps. <laughs> wait wait is that what you call a girl with jugs? No cowbell, cowbell shaker. shaker. Yeah, that, that could be. Yeah, it's a politically correct way to say it. <laughs> but it was it was a uh, i'm glad i went up there because it uh it's like a that's a, ho a real hobo area too so it's like watching you know it was like You're a half rich. hour yeah it's like seeing the bums cross between uh the marathon would come around and you could go <laughs> okay they'll be back in about 40 minutes and then the bums would get up and you know shake their shake their dicks off and uh, walk across the bridge uh, with their hockey sticks or whatever. So one guy had a hockey. I didn't. I can't believe I didn't take any pictures of the bums. I just give them a respectful uh, distance, and I don't want to. I don't want to spark any reason to have any relations well, with them. I mean, that must be something new because you've always taken pictures. Well, of I don't mind things. taking a picture of a, a Japanese runner who's at mile fifteen because I know she's not going to leap over the barrier. But a, a, a bum crossing right next to me, <laughs> he might have, you know, they're they're put off a little bit. Uh, they don't want to be, they didn't bid on the world games, the local homeless, and they've been moved around and shit. And so they're it's like, little... it's like seeing a moose crossing in Alaska, you know, you're best to just give them wide berth and, you know, marvel at the, you know, the, yeah, look at it, the, just the vision, the majesty the of it all. Yeah, exactly. That's the word. I'm and it doesn't matter. But man don't or... have any direct contact because that's when it's going to go bad for you. And you're with be the bums or the runners. Either way, oh, well, yeah. unless you have like a bag full of tuna sandwiches. For I, can't, the I can't. I can't imagine one. I can't imagine one to eat sushi off the belly of a hobo. 
<laughs> no confusing there but yeah just it's a it's something to see you know uh people that can keep a pace through a marathon men or women whatever then the, yeah. i think both Incredible. both the men and women set uh winners set a new world record oh really and i think it was because i said go girl yeah yeah your support uh, helped i didn't even yeah. talk to the front runners at all i mean you know I, go, I did i clapped and said uh i think i just said keep going i just what i said keep going. <laughs> and then i realized how fucking stupid i am and uh, there's really nothing yeah. good you know unless you know them you know i could have yelled hey me me shoo, you have uh f- you know you're at this you know you need to do this to gain a little i don't know i didn't oh, have oh, to you're gonna give advice you. you're gonna well, <laughs> i'm not yelling- a, I know you're yelling okay. ringside at a well, UFC, but I made icon. I made, one runner look, happened to look, and I was just standing there, and we made kind of eye contact, and she pulled ahead and got third place. That was when it. I saw her, she was about in fifth place, and I just went, Come on, she just saw me, and it was like in, in her head, she's like, Fuck yeah, I can do this. Like, you, know when she, you know, when she started the me. race, Andy, she wanted yeah. to win, yeah, but that's she saw me and she settled. Gun. To, yeah <laughs> <laughs> right well yeah she got spooked ahead or whatever <clears throat> but it's nice to, it's nice to see the whole i mean it's you know the helicopter comes sliding in and then a uh, couple of big giant ass drones and uh <clears throat> it's it's a cool production mobile mobile shit now with all those i mean like the drone overhead shots of that that's why i wanted to go there because like just you know I was looking for a spot on the course where I could be an isolated loner. <laughs> I, I didn't want to join a crowd and, you know, uh, like yeah. the beginning or finish line or something. So well, that's a typical killer termite is to just be someone all by themselves off to the side. Yeah. The cops are aware of you, Dad. but they haven't made a move on you, but, but they are keeping, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's been conversations gonna, on the radio. We're gonna go, he's just yelling, keep going. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. How do you keep going to people that are running anyway? <laughs> now, why don't they, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, hold up, take a break. <laughs> you just be that rush? guy going, your shoe's untied. Your shoe's untied, just yelling yeah. at every person. There's about 15 chicks behind you and they're determined to catch up to you. Yeah, just sitting, you know. It's better. It's better. I kept it to a minimum because I, I I wanted to be encouraging, but I you know, and I didn't want to go. I didn't when the USA chick came by, I didn't want to encourage her any more than I hadn't encouraged any other countries. Right. Like hey, you, you don't want to seem nationalistic you know. when you're looking like right. a weirdo with a gun on a bridge. I right. get you. Which I didn't have a gun. <laughs> I just had a hockey jersey, which implies so, creepy. So this. <laughs> The picture here is of the winner. That's a, yeah, that's Ethiopia. the winner. And it's, then Kenya. I, I'm going to butch, butcher the name, but it's Gatiatam Ge- Gebrelesa. That's exactly why I wasn't yeah. personalizing my greetings. Yes. <laughs> Get you, go, but, ah, fuck it. <laughs> so the world record before this was two hours, 20 minutes, 57 seconds. Her clock time on this race was two hours, 18 minutes, 11 what? seconds. Two That's minutes? She cut two minutes off of the world. Yeah, record. isn't that weird? That's a lot. Something's going on. Those two ran together like almost the whole, I mean, I think they did probably the whole time. Uh, the That's other, incredible. The other gal is, uh, it says Nicholas, but it, it's, it was the women's marathon. So uh, she's from Kenya. The Kenyan lady was arguing with her on the course of her, like, they, they, I think she wanted to share the workload a little yeah. bit. And, uh, and yeah, you're Uganda supposed to trade off it. being in first place, right? Yeah, Uganda didn't really do do a whole lot of that until she wanted to. But Maybe that's why, yeah, it's like I, I looked at their names. I watched the first half hour in my at, at home. I was like, I can't if I yell any names. There's no way I can't come in the ball. I go Kenya, go, you know, uh, but the, the girl who was in third, that's the one I encouraged third place. I think she was an Israeli, but she was, uh, uh, I heard some guys talking about how, how Israel took in a lot of African countries, uh, kids. And that's why they're all of a sudden good and running. I don't know. I mean, it seemed racist sort of, but I just overheard it. <laughs> I mean, it, it would make sense. Part of the world conspiracy. 
Yeah, I mean, you know. The Jews are running everything, including... They're running and running. <laughs> you know, second place also beat beat the uh, previous world record because her time was 220... Yeah, she was uh, right on her. 2018, no, 220 or something. Yeah, she was right there. Oh, no, crap. 218.20 was second wow. place. Yeah. I mean, then, that's a lot. Even the second place beat it by a yeah. lot. Yeah. I, I don't know what the why that is it's a i mean it was a pretty it's well a you're encouraged course. andy you said it well yeah. i mean i don't know i mean i don't you think scared many... the living shit out of these <laughs> women at about mile marker 22 and they sprinted in no i saw them they... at let's see about mile 7 13 and 18 oh yeah. so you're tracking them <laughs> they kept coming to me <laughs> I just hang out, and eventually, you know, when the helicopter was hovering overhead, I knew it was game time. Oh yeah! <laughs> I could Get jump out. Backpack. I could jump out and be on TV. And, go, girls! <laughs> Keep going. Be sure to watch Issues with Andy on international <laughs> podcast. Yeah, I can't believe everywhere. you weren't wearing an Issues with Andy T-shirt instead of a killer. Yeah, man. TV I know. And everything. I didn't. I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't plot it really. I mean, I just kind of was. I had two choices. I either lay in bed and masturbate, uh, unrelated to the marathon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of my I see part what of my key, here. Yeah, I part see. of my it's all, it's all part of my chemotherapy now. week. Either he lays in bed and masturbates, or he goes down to the race and masturbates. Yeah. No, under the bridge with the homos. Here under the bridge. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't go under the. I, I, you know, that's that's for the people who live there. <laughs> i don't try to eat a sandwich where they shit so yeah, i should don't jerk off where they, eat or where they don't sleep where they shit. don't come where they go but yeah. i think uh i think there was a that's what it would be nice one i'm, I'm sure it happened because there's usually bum camps like this is the time of year where me and james fed the hobos and there were bum camps and there's no there's very few tents set up and there's very it's like the hobos are disguised as like uh mile markers for the marathon or something <laughs> but uh they're just i mean even the ones i saw this morning seem like they've been cleaned up recently it's like Do that they give but, like you know, oranges and stuff to the homeless people because they're like always handing out you know like oranges orange slices and half bananas and stuff to the runners i would feel like if i was homeless i would be like make an effort know. at it just jog by, jog by, well, grab a banana, man. Yeah, <laughs> starving. Or just, dragging or, a cart with or, a dog with just, no collar. Try to try to run alongside <laughs> them so when they throw off, take his half banana. They usually like you know how they shed off a layer of clothes. They're running alongside. <laughs> hey man, hit me with a large. <laughs> yeah, but I was kind of also uh, watching the marathon because there was a lot of Sp Springfield. It, I mean it's. I don't know. It's it's lower cost housing, and uh, and the, traditionally it's just it's been more of the white trash uh, shit or whatever. But there was a, a a section or two where there was a bunch of people riding their bikes alongside of the marathoners, and I was freezing it, watching it on my TV to see if my bike would turn up. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, there's not there hasn't been an opportunity How where many, I could look at a hundred different local bikes at a time. Yeah, but How I was many going years later. Is it now? Is it two years? Two years later, but uh, why? You know, that's just when they're going to get this bike is going to last. It might have come to the end. Oh, I'm sure. It, I mean, but I mean, it it was just like you know, there's there's a hundred local bikes on my TV. I'm going to of course, you know, do my I'm, dude. I'm a still a cop at heart. <laughs> I, have, I haven't forgotten about it either, Andy. I, yeah. I, uh, I, yeah, I found I found I, my. I bought a used bike a couple of days ago, and when I showed up at the dude's house, he's like, he had like a hundred bikes in his uh, carport just stacked in there, and I was like, I wonder if one of these is Andy's that got yeah. trafficked. Yeah, that would be smart. That that's you know, <clears throat> they used to say that Eugene bikes end up in Seattle. I'm like, shit, I should go ride the bus up there. Go get my bike back. <laughs> Wait, who who was saying that? uh i don't know, hobo danny. You know hobo danny, maybe. that guy probably knows where your bike is yeah right i know i know the guy I know who that, sent uh, your bike the other direction told you to go to seattle well the guy who uh danny told yeah. me danny goes this is probably the guy who would know something about it and then i showed that guy a picture of my bike and he said of course it wasn't mine but that was the end of it that was the guy 
Danny, you know, Danny introduced me to the guy who stole my bike and I showed him a picture of it and he was unmoved. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. Mitch McConnell in this situation. He's the fucking Mitch dirt bike. Was gone. Yeah. yeah, he had my bike and he was just going, oh, no, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Fuck you. That's the guy. So, but it's probably on the secondary market. And maybe somebody's, you know, from out of town and rented it or something. Oh, it's been stolen three or three more times. Yeah. I hope they uh, had a good. That's what I was kind of bummed because I could have been one of them guys. Right. I would have been able to keep up riding the bike alongside the runners. (coughs) I think that's kind of annoying. Well, there was like a whole other. Yeah, it is annoying just to get a picture. Fuck those guys. (laughs) I'm glad I don't have a bike anymore. I don't deserve one. I didn't lock it up, and this is America. I would say you don't deserve one. I just don't think riding your bike along next to marathoners is a great idea. Seems like a lot of things could go wrong with that. You could have white. You see those guys that get too close during the Mm -hmm. uh, during the uh, uh, the the, what's the French race? The the Tour de France. Yeah, that one the girl Tour de with France. the sign. Those, remember those that? Crazy videos. <laughs> yeah. Remember get... last year? I think a girl yeah. hit, hit knocked down a whole the whole bunch of them. Oh like, yeah, the, the whole race. Right. <laughs> she fucked up the whole race. Yeah, and that's another that's sign what... to saying hi to her grandma and grandpa. Even though you know, I had no intention of, uh, but you know, you realize you could spaz out and be all over the news. It's so like, oh man, I just having a have an emotional problem and I <laughs> flailed out on the road <laughs> flapping my arms around and I knocked two front runners out of the race. <laughs> now the country of the Ethiopia <laughs> wants to have my head. <laughs> you know, you, you can fuck up pretty quickly when the two big cameras are, you know, it was Peacock Network, mm-hmm. but it would have been all over if I, you know, or anybody, not just me, the people of Springfield could have uh, wigged out on uh, the wrong math or the right shit. They could have been on exactly what they wanted to be on and still wigged out. Shit happens there in Springfield. <laughs> All right, nobody wants to chime in on Springfield, so. I don't know anything about Springfield, Oregon. It's just it's a shithole. I know about Springfield, from, Illinois. Right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of, people. yeah, I think almost all Springfields are relatively the same town. But, it, but it's Illinois' capital, so. So, bigger crime. Means, really? Bigger crimes. Yeah. Buster Rhymes. I mean, Springfield, Illinois is the kind of city that aspires to be Peoria. You can imagine that. Really? Wow. Yeah. Peoria, give it advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's like our little brother. Where would you rank Peoria as, as a town in Illinois? Like, obviously, it's not uh, one. Yeah, it's the greatest city in, in the world. I mean, it's just with the known entities. How can I know it you're... the greatest city in Illinois if it's the, already the greatest city in the world? Walnut? Walnut, that logic. Walnut's better than, than Peoria. I don't know, man. Peoria's fine. Yeah. What does Springfield want that Peoria's got? Um, I don't know. State reps. Probably, we got a, probably a couple more Applebee's than them. That's I was just gonna say. I don't know. Better if we talked about that before, but that's funny how everybody judges where you're at. Like when I first moved to this town, my cousin's like, "Well, how's it? How is it? Uh, we got an Applebee's and a Chili's. Like yeah. you talk about what we got a Best Buy now, nah, but I think they're gonna put one. <laughs> so, like yeah. what, what? What big box stores is how people judge where you live? How how many Walgreens you got? <laughs> <laughs> that is a. I mean, that's how I judge it though. Is is with uh, Home Depots. If there's a Home Depot, then it's a town. If there's <laughs> mm-hmm. not, then you're then it's it's it makes it tougher if you don't have a hardware store and you're gonna live there. It's crazy how uh, Sierra Vista is not very big, and there's a Home Depot, a Lowe's, and an Ace Hardware. Yeah, they always and a, uh, and a B and D. There's a B and D in uh, Sierra Vista as well. well. I didn't even know that. What's that? So. It's, it's just another uh, a small hardware lumber store, store, like a general store. Oh. I wonder if General it's closer Harvard. to me than uh, Home Depot because the only reason I go to Home Depot is it's closest one to me. You got to you got to get <clears throat> woke and go. Which company do I want to protest the most? So I don't know. It's, I think between Lowe's and Home Depot, you're not supposed to shop with those guys. Yeah, I don't uh, give a fuck about any of that shit unless somebody's gonna come over and build my shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm going. Yeah. Right 
Well, if you go to Home Depot here, you can definitely get somebody to build your shit for you. <laughs> see, see, that's the that's the problem with living next to the border is uh, all those guys are still in the trunk when they go by our <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't have any of those guys, we gotta build our own shit. Yeah, yeah too bad, man. No cheap labor Dude. here, buddy. <laughs> I'll tell you what the the guys at the uh, Home Depot here. The one by me, they have, they are cooking out every day. They have like a setup under the shade tree. They're there from early in the morning. You know, those guys who don't get selected for anything, they've got grills going. They are fucking living life. Yeah. It's like, damn. It's Erickson, I remember when, when I was there last, um, we went somewhere near a, it was near, it was a parking lot that there was a Napa Auto Parts. Uh -huh. And there were dudes parked with yeah. their van and set up with a canopy and everything, <laughs> willing to work on your car right there yeah, in the Napa uh, Park parking lot. Right on Riverside here, yeah. there's, a, there's an auto zone and a discount auto parts store, whatever it is called. I think it's just called discount auto. But they kind of share a parking lot in this big giant yeah. strip mall. And it's true. There are like numerous guys who are in the parking lot. And if you need something, you know, you just bought brakes. your parts. They'll do your brakes. They'll do it right there in the parking lot. They don't give a fuck. They call I them a them. shade tree, shade you know, tree mechanics. Yeah. You know, we used to have in Sierra Vista, there used to be a day labor uh, place. Yeah. And uh, during parts of my time when I was unable to have a job, I would go do day labor with the rest of the mentally ill people and that is a fucking circus man yeah. what a crazy place <laughs> but i met some cool people there is it uh do people where they uh jump and like trying to out out bid you or whatever on shit like we'll do it for less or whatever i think Was it's that, more organized or, than that yeah it, it's very organized you, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the companies would come in and pay a flat you know we'll pay you know 12 bucks an hour for three laborers to come in and you'd go run a wheelbarrow all day one guy would run a shovel shoving fucking cement into oh. a wheelbarrow one guy'd run the wheelbarrow to the backyard all day long and, brett's, uh, brett's oh, just oh, thinking oh. man i wish i had that variety in my day no shit. <laughs> uh, Wish I could be outdoor in the sun. Wheelbarrow, huh? Actually, dude, I'm gonna tell you what. The one thing I am thankful for right now is that I am not fucking outside in the sun. Yeah. Oh, what is it? It is 107 here. We had we did this in June, but we're doing this again. We had, I think, 13 days in a row over 100. Then it got is only got up to 99 last Friday, and then it's been up over 100 every day since. And our weather gal tonight said it'll be over a hundred every day till August at least. There's no rain in sight. It's fucking brutal. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Fucking and it's not just a hundred. It's a hundred and seven. It's a hundred and eight. Like. And you guys have high humidity there too. It's don't humid. You? It's yeah. just bullshit, man. Don't say anything about the grid shutting down. That would be bad luck. Uh -oh. Dude, we found out they were they were they were. Uh, <laughs> They're cutting our power without even telling us. It turns out that there is like a certain thing you sign up for when you get your electric, when you sign up for electric, you sign up for like this energy saving program thing. And what yeah, you don't they know. They call is, it. That's, that's, that's what they sign up. <laughs> yeah, they make it sound really good. What they don't tell you is that when you're adjusting your thermostat and wondering why it, you set it to 72 and it's still at 78, it's because they fucking cut your fucking power motherfuckers yeah, yeah. It's group suffering there man. yeah it's a it's <clears throat> i i just talked to my brother who gets uh, real you know on point we go political rants and shit but uh man it's fucking uh it's gonna be a fucking hot end to this thing uh, <laughs> anyway <Yeah. clears throat> but at least we're still fucking trying to put the orange turd behind bars for the crimes he committed in fuck in front of all of us and uh <laughs> nobody's really talking about the fucking heat waves and shits too much I, I think uh when i i'm hoping that a lot of you guys uh join me in political apathy 
I watched a little bit of that stuff. And when absolutely nothing happens, I hope you guys will join me and go, oh, you know what? It is all bullshit and I shouldn't give a fuck. Well, I'm, I'm still kind of pissed off about that seal getting fucked by the sea lion. <laughs> and uh, the, I haven't been able to get penguin getting fucked yeah. by the sea lion. I can't even remember the details of it, but uh, seals get horrible. horrible. He's already black all the time. Mind. Yeah, I'm black and whiting, tuxedoing it out of my. I, I Chad, I will tell you this. This is what <laughs> this is the scenario that will make me definitely go right into your area of just fuck it. There's no point. Yeah. And that is, and this is likely, I think this is at least fairly likely. If we end up going into the next presidential election with the same two dipshits as your options, then this, we deserve as a country, everything that happens to us. I think that's there. what's going to happen. And I think Trump will fucking win, dude. I think that's, I think it's bad. It, it's, it's, it's fucked yeah. up. And it's like the Constitution is going to run. I don't think Biden's running. Well, he that will, would be will. smart, but yeah. you know, I I just don't know if if that's our choices. Though, if it comes down, but if the choice is Biden or Trump again, then oh. it just proves that the system doesn't work. I no, mean, it's it's bad it's enough that the AOC for president. bubbled up bubbled up these two fucks <laughs> for as our choices last time, but yeah. after all we've seen from both of them now, oh, then it man. ends up that these are, we're, we're we're choosing between those two again. Nobody. Yeah nobody else but that's what's happened all in the past that's i mean it's not the first time we've had a, a douche and a turd members how yeah, yeah. made fun of this already <laughs> <I know. Fuck. laughs> yeah i know i know we'll get some I would younger vote for aoc i don't even know if she's old enough to be president i don't I even know her. yeah i would <laughs> yeah she's she's got uh forward thinking ideas on the science shit because that's what you know it's like it's aggravating to have it <clears throat> just be a system of fucking nitwits and judge fixing and fucking uh you know just getting rich themselves and shit and everything around them is going to be fucked and then we're all going to be like facing water shortages going god damn it i should have fucking voted <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, excuse me i'll tell you the thing i like about aoc is that it's always been a privilege of politicians why even a long time ago when i had to quit watching news and stuff i used to be very angry about politics a long time ago and uh it's, other direction uh, probably huh <laughs> it's uh it, and it's not good for me because i would get i would i i you guys know me i told i'm the crazy person who would be like i think i might have to get involved am i the one who's supposed to get involved in this because otherwise it's just not going to happen yeah. so i cannot care i, I literally can't and uh yeah, but you yeah they've always had this privilege of ignoring they do something stupid or say something stupid or do the thing and then when everybody goes what about this and they just don't acknowledge it and it, well what are you going to do if i don't acknowledge it then it goes away until i do the next stupid thing uh -huh. but uh, aoc will come back at people who try to call her out on stuff she will actually acknowledge things that come back yeah. and explain here's where i was actually coming from dipshit and i'm like <laughs> god damn fucking badass yeah man I, like <laughs> I don't know if she's a very serious competition to aoc but have you ever seen the uh fucking neck vein trucker chick that does a uh, car drive while she's driving rants about aoc oh yeah and, yeah uh, that's yeah that's she's uh <laughs> Oh, yeah, won. she's running against. She's she always tries to run against AOC, doesn't she? Yeah, she's like this. Uh, I can't remember her name. She's like a, a real heavy New York Brooklyn yeah. accent, fucking angry, angry woman. Yeah, her veins are always popping out of her neck, and she's always screaming into her telephone on the car <laughs> while she's driving the car. Jesus, I but will. she ended up with as a Republican. I think she was trying to be the Republican nominee to run against AOC, which is pointless because yeah. she's. Yeah. Really you, you see uh, any of those? It was I think it was uh, uh, it was uh, Wyoming's uh, council, or I mean Wyoming debate. debate. The debates yeah. where they're just so. It's like it's like uh, if you're watching uh, the special needs uh, kids come in and try debate or whatever that one it's just it's 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 beyond comical it's like uh that one woman was like uh 
go oh you don't insult me i'm a it's like a it's like they're, they're just poorly drawn up wrestling characters and uh <laughs> they're debating and they don't wait it's like herschel walker holy shit you know you to ask herschel he's like uh, when when trump would go off on tangents about windmills herschel walker goes off on tangents that involve fucking horrifying shit and uh, <laughs> yeah like, holy shit man. yeah he might he he's might been be, hit in the head too many times I don't. Yeah, I think he's an asshole to begin with, but I think I don't. I don't know. Yeah, he, he definitely been hit in the head a lot. You know, he ran. His running style was to just put his head down and run over people. And you know, there's probably a reason Earl just, Campbell yeah. didn't get into politics. Exactly right. Right, like he was another guy who led with his head. <laughs> right. Hey, Earl, yeah. you want to run for office? <laughs> <laughs> We're over here, Earl. He was my favorite. That guy would. He would. He, he, he was like right by the out of bounds. He could step out of bounds. Guy f- fucking lower his head and take the concussion rather than step out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't play out well. Maybe they the NFL didn't know back then. Yeah, there's nobody that does. You'd, you'd, be, a, you'd be foolish. Yeah. They would shut you down. You know, you see the helmets they wear on top of their helmets for practice now? Yeah. It's like uh, that uh, uh, space balls. <laughs> really yeah they were the darth like, vader character rick yeah, moranis were a big giant like styrofoam inflatable helmet on top of their helmet yeah i think it well, is they, inflatable. Fucking funny. <laughs> they should if they wanted to really honestly limit concussions and and not even it's not even concussions that cause cte that's the that's the trick they try to get you to believe it's the repetitive uh hits the sub sub concussive hits over time and if you wanted to eliminate cte in football you should eliminate helmets altogether because when you don't have a helmet on are you going to stick you don't go pump? jamming your head into places that get it fucking smashed and that's that's the reason why all of this stuff is happening these rugby players don't get have nearly as bad of a situation as football players do, and they're not wearing back into those I mean, leather, uh, leather skull cap helmets. They can get concussed, but they don't even get concussed as much. I don't think. I mean, you just you're 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 much more aware of your head sure. when you're not wearing that helmet. You wear that helmet, and you're like, "Fuck it, I'm going in. Nothing can hurt me." And you know, we we saw Gerald Ford. Me and Shaley saw Gerald Ford's Holy helmet. Shit. And it was it predated the big you know he wore like a leather helmet yeah i don't think there was yeah. like you know that that generation of uh, that would be better or, yeah they didn't they didn't jar up their heads and their faces they didn't have face masks mask masks and their faces weren't fucked up because they didn't do that i mean some of them were you could tell the guys who fucking didn't pay attention and got their faces all banged <laughs> george blando uh, there's a few of them who I just had the simple face mask. We'd get uh-huh. fists through their face mask all the time. But uh, pretty much, you know, they didn't get concussed and their faces didn't get all bloodied up. Let's go back to that kind of football, huh? <laughs> I can't play any style or really probably even stay awake for a whole game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Right now. Right now, yeah. It's you got. Tough. I think there's World Football League or some there was a huge brawl on. over the weekend for an arena football did you guys see this no oh. there's still an arena football they brought it's, it yeah, back it was something it was some something happened and then these teams like they're they're not even on the field they're like inside a stadium and they're fucking just brawling and and then got, the fans are starting to fucking throw chairs and shit wow awesome. and it, was just, it was fucking insane and then it got me on a on a click over to the uh, Malice at the Palace. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The basketball one. Yeah. yeah. So, it, yeah. I mean, that is that my was- greatest. That's my greatest sporting event right there. The Malice at the Palace. When Ron Artest finally gave the fans what they fucking deserved mm-hmm. a straight up ass beating. I don't <laughs> he even became know my what favorite this is. athlete of all time when that happened. I was like, good. It's time. People be fucking with these guys all the time, and he just had had enough, and he just started whipping ass. God, then he hit awesome. the he. I think he hit the wrong guy, but doesn't matter. His heart That's was in the fucking right place. how it goes. You want to? I fucking... don't know what it is, but I agree with you already, Erickson. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Oh my god, it was beautiful. I'll have to look that up. 
I'm looking for it right now. I'll, I'll play it for right, you. It's, oh, right it's, on. It's a short yeah. Clip. yeah. I forget sometimes that we can do that. That's such a fucking cool <laughs> aspect of this. Uh, Erickson, doing it on the Zoom. <laughs> Erickson, why don't you give a little background while I search for this thing on? Uh, um, on I don't remember too much of the background. It was. Uh, well, it was uh, Ron those... Artest played for the Detroit Pistons. And it was and uh, those two teams. Was, were was Indiana Pacers. Indiana, yeah, they were fucking flipping him shit and. You know, probably being racist and calling him names, and somebody threw something at him, and he just had had enough, and he fucking jumped over the announcer's fucking thing, and went up into the stands, and started beating ass. Hockey players have done it before too. Yeah, but it's you know, yeah. hockey players you kind of expect to do that because they're maniacs. You don't expect basketball players to do it, right? Probably and nobody it affected Ron Artest in so in such a way that he ended up. Changing his name to Meta World Peace after that, he had to get oh, all heard of that guy. Yeah, he had to get all fucking <laughs> humble and quiet and calm and peaceful because uh, he whipped so much. Up <laughs> yeah, he felt bad. He felt bad about uh, whipping some white people's asses. Yeah, yeah that's actually. Maybe, a, I, I hope he didn't feel bad and had to pretend he felt bad to continue his career. I a, hope he felt good about it. He Fuck was an interesting people. guy. He he was a guy who had some mental issues. He was very manic, you know, like a like maybe bipolar. He was a an up and down kind of guy. So, you know, I don't know his whole story. Yeah. But There's he, a good he was really smart and really interesting guy. But what's really fun about these kind of things, like a hockey player jumps into the crowd. Some of those guys aren't even that big. Basketball players are fucking big. Ron Artest is a beast. <laughs> and you think these guys are like skinny guys. And then they get, they get up into the bleachers yeah. of you, and you realize this motherfucker's six eight. Yeah. You can't if you wanted to fight him, you couldn't get close enough to him to hit him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you you couldn't find a strategy if you wanted to. <laughs> no, fuck no. If you had time to plan, you couldn't figure out a strategy well, to fight that big motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit! Right, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a documentary about it that you should yeah, watch, yeah. Chad. Yeah, yeah. 15, Tinsley 13, and Jackson with 12. All five starters and double figures. The it's early in the game, huh? Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh, right there, that push. Oh, oh. oh. Yep. starts as a fight. Look at that score too. It's 97-82. But here's where some shit gets thrown from the crowd. Yeah. So far, he was defending himself against that dude. Yeah. The guy fouled him hard. I look like I'm happy, but I really hate how happy violence makes. Oh, there he is. There's an on our test right know. there. Yeah, Ron Artest played for Indiana. That's right, not Detroit. So it was Ben Wallace who fucking jacked Jer up. Jermaine uh, Luke uh, O'Neal. It's not over either. Oh no, it's know. about to get you on. I want to see the foul again because it appeared Wallace was past him and Artest shoved him. And that's what Wallace took exception to. But it's hard to believe Bill Lambeer was retired. Well, I was on the white enough. uniform guy's side. That's not that hard. You would expect. Yeah, that's Lambert. Ryan Artest in the, in the blue jersey. That's it's Artest. Yeah, fuck that guy. I was, I was on the white guy, uh, the white uniform guy. That's Wallace. Yeah. The way Steven Jackson's carrying on, they should eject him as well. A bunch of John here. Get this game over with as quickly as possible. The problem is if Wallace is not sure, he'd have to walk past. So these guys are talking shit. There goes, there goes. Over there. Look at this guy. Yeah, you want a piece of me? <laughs> wow, he's oh, big. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a little tiny white guy. <laughs> throwing, everyone's throwing their uh, drinks. It looked like he just grabbed him and just put him down into the he put him down. started beating him. Yeah, there's no flat place to land on the bleachers. <laughs> oh, no, just right into those. It's a disgrace. <laughs> it's a disgrace. <laughs> That's horrible. Horrible. Oh, my God. Oh, what a sad scene here at the Palace. 
<laughs> hey, that's uh, Wallace's brother. This is very, very dangerous. Fans are calling cuts with liquid in them now onto the court. This is when all the players also decide that they like each other more than they like any of the fans. Yeah. You know, it's right, like, right, oh, right. we were fighting with each other, but wait a minute, now we're yeah. all on the same team. Fuck yeah. these guys. If we're picking sides, fuck those guys. <laughs> I I definitely have to watch this documentary because yeah, uh, it ends I up want in... to know what happened to that little tiny white guy who got picked up like a Twinkie and fucking shoved down on the <laughs> Oh, I know Great. there's a it goes into look at that guy who rides the bench who's just standing there like what do yeah. I do? <laughs> Man, it looks like I might get to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, our task is look at that. It's, and, uh, and I heard the they start earlier when I watched this. Oh, who's they were throwing they're... bottles. Yeah, they're throwing shit at him. <laughs> no, but they're throwing bottles. It's like, oh wow, that's right. He used to have bottles at these places. Mm -hmm. He's ready. He wants to go back in there and fuck him up. Damn, that was a different time. Oh, no, it's 2004? Yeah. I thought it was earlier than that. Damn. Look at this. They can't even get him off the fucking court. Oh, I would love to be in <laughs> that. So bad. Oh, look at that. Just take that. <laughs> oh, he just dumped a beer right on his head. <laughs> Just do like a flying elbow off of that right in the top of their bean. I wonder if they did they uh, so <laughs> do you yeah. remember if they finished the game? I mean they'd have uh, to I don't kind think of they did. uh yeah it did it did finish. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what the stadium <laughs> it was uh, basically that score is what I read. Wow. But I, I I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I, was I don't remember the... all the particulars of it. And, I, and everyone's always like, oh, it's the worst night in NBA history. That's what it even said on the thing. Yeah. And Ron Artest was a, a bad guy and was suspended, I think, for the rest of the season. I don't remember. But I honestly, I just felt like it was goddamn time. If you're going to throw shit and you're going to be talking shit and throwing shit at somebody, don't be surprised if they come and fucking get you. Yeah, and it, yep. I was like, it's a it's a weird power that the heckler gets when they go, oh, I can say a bunch of shit to this guy and he gets he reacts, but he can't do anything about it. Right. But just yeah. to go walk over there and go you know, choke him out or whatever. And you, go, OK, now you won't have to do it more than once. I yeah. mean, imagine <laughs> imagine the the thought process of the guy when he sees Ron Artest come over the fucking announcer's booth at him like yeah he does it, he's got to be thinking like is this it's, fucking it's incredible it's like real? there's no way he's coming right. for me he's, no, yeah, he's, this getting bigger. This... he's getting bigger oh, fuck. <laughs> well it was funny too is that i didn't I, I i didn't realize when it happened but like everybody else cleared the fuck out around him he mm. was like the the baby gazelle trying to catch yeah. up to the crowd <laughs> yeah. like fuck i'm stuck here mm -hmm. It's like when those those uh, uh, protesters in uh, this year's playoffs is run out there. It's like these guys are fucking gigantic, and you're running out there to whatever. And it's like Get there's a lot that can go court. wrong there. It's crazy glue. <laughs> I was uh, I was on the court. Uh, it was like I guess halftime ended or was ending, and I was I was down walking on the uh, what, Blazers. What game was it? It was what the game? Blazers versus the Lakers in the uh, playoffs, and it was probably 84 85 so wow. it was like uh i was standing down there maybe. and uh like just the fucking the size of those guys it's just like you just you don't even want to be in the fucking area around them because they fucking you know could kill you like uh <laughs> mitch cup on you yeah J Crush jabbar you. and shit and then just to see those guys so watch jabbar on the court where you know maybe the camera's not on him and just how much fucking elbowing and back and forth and shoving yeah. that guy went through on a regular basis. If you're uh -huh. just in that guy's space, he would fucking be able to fucking just throw an elbow speaking, in your face and knock you speaking out. Speaking of Jabbar, there's the guy. If you want to go into sports and politics, there's the guy we should elect as the president. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That fucking guy has got his shit together. I don't know if you read any of his stuff, but he yeah. is yeah, he's extremely sharp. smart. He posts a lot, well yeah. spoken and 
is he understands what the fuck is going on in the world. I wish we had somebody he, like him. He was a world. hell of a pilot in a uh, in airplane. Yep. <laughs> I think I read a, a, a article <laughs> one time about him selling off a bunch of his uh, stuff to donate all the money to uh, like kids fucking yeah. answers, like something yeah. really noble. What was yeah, his, he, 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 do you remember his latest? It, man. He criticized a movie. Uh, uh, I forget what it was, but it was just not too uh, long ago. Was and it he, that one with uh, that uh, 1883? Was it the it Yellowstone? Might've, it uh, might have been that. The prequel? Yeah, I don't think it was Power of Dog. But uh, <laughs> oh, maybe, oh, maybe that was it. No. No, he had legitimate... I, I think it was a movie I saw and then he had legitimate, you know... Uh, things that maybe I, it, it was just a few days ago or it seemed like but uh that's the fucking drugs man <laughs> I take a toll that's why i'm using my freeze pipe more take and people stigma. talk about michael jordan i was a chicago bulls fan i love michael jordan but kareem abdul jabbar is the greatest player that's ever played in the nba I, it's just not any question he was unstoppable for fucking you for know, years yeah he was do anything about, you couldn't do anything you just pass him the ball and he would do that sky hook over you and then what are you going to do well, you'd have to be 14 feet tall to block it you can't stop <laughs> what, what was his height he's like seven uh, yeah three he's shooting so far out wasn't yeah. he like seven foot over seven four? feet tall yeah, yeah seven okay yeah so those dudes they walked by me uh i didn't have any inkling that i might interfere with their game <laughs> uh, for, for some reason a ladies marathon all those years later i'm like ah, i, I might your, jump i, I might jump out well yeah i might have a spastic attack and start <laughs> flailing around so is that like that you know like the feeling you get like if you walk up to like a cliff or you're on the you know like you're on a real at a high rise and out on the deck like you have that urge to jump like that weird right like, yeah that impulse that weird gun. like why why am i thinking about this why it's, am i thinking it's about like this? when they get ready to shoot the gun off uh, at, a, at a meet and everybody's Whoa, quiet but again with the gun well but i mean they fire <laughs> off the starting pistol which the fucking Devin allen that uh, uh he uh he got disqualified uh for a race he'd been training for for his life and uh, got disqualified for reacting too fast to the starter's gun yeah i saw With, that uh, uh but anyway they felt when they fire that off they don't they everybody for the most part uh every time i've ever seen it is keeps their mouth shut because they don't want to fuck it up but there's that thing that wells up inside of some people were like oh go baby here so you know you just you don't want to fucking do it but it's you know you think about it uh, if i yell out right here i'm an asshole i can't help myself <laughs> That's how, well, some people overrule it and they become the asshole who ruins the race for people yeah so like when they raise the gun they say ready set and then they raise the gun like right before they shoot it then you yell go and yeah. that's what makes uh, everyone baba booey baba booey cigarette yeah. hey issues with, <laughs> issues with andy issues with andy's keep going girls uh, keep going <laughs> keep going but, all the hey, way that, to the uh, Supreme that, Court that urge to jump is uh -huh. called a, a call of the void or high place phenomenon really like, call yeah. of the void. It's, it's that sensation to jump when you're up in a high place uh huh I definitely get that yeah uh, what do they call it the uh, uh, I, I totally feel that I get, I get it so bad that no, the, but, uh, uh, the backs of the back of my legs uh, tingle yeah it's weird it's I, fucked up man i i i high places make my butthole pucker up i want to die <laughs> but i don't want to fucking hurt or fucking <laughs> when i watched that uh when i watched that that the, the bridge documentary and the, and, and they interviewed a oh, bunch yeah. of people that jumped off the golden gate bridge i think it's a golden uh, gate bridge yeah uh, and a bunch of the, like three or four different survivors and they were like yeah as soon as i jumped off i regretted it and i'm like yeah i don't want to regret <laughs> shit for like four seconds that's not the way you want to go out yeah you don't even have time for your uh, highlights to flash before your eyes well maybe if you're killing yourself maybe you do you know yeah what I, mean? maybe I wonder did they canon did they i mean what would be the key on that i guess you'd want your toes pointy you want to strike with your toes first 
Oh, you want to belly flop? No, no, you can't. It's not. It's a. You can't win jumping off yeah. the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, I mean, no, I mean you'd have to go. If you die, survive, you it's only poorly. by luck. Yeah, yeah you you would if to survive, you would have to go in pointy toes and as straight as you could be. But it's like the surface well, of the water. Isn't that if you want to survive? Like I understand that. But, you know, they do that high diving shit where they jump off the really super high. Remember yeah, back in yeah. the 70s when they would do the, like, you know, the, what was it? The wide world Acapulco of sports. Cliff diving. Mm-hmm. They, well, not even the cliff diving. That's, in, that's insanity. But they would do that thing where, like, just the high diving where they would crawl up that fucking skinny little ladder and they would get up on, like, that tiny platform and then just stand there. Like, they're way the fuck up there. But they have to go hit the water going you know, completely vertical or they're going to, they can't do none of that. Shaley cannonball bullshit. No. When I was a fucking blow up the place, uh, there's no cannonballs in high dive. (laughs) When I was a kid, we'd go to the salt river bridge. And I think, I don't know, maybe it was like 50 feet high or so, depending if you went from the road level or you climbed up to the top of the bridge level and we would jump off that all fucked up all the time. And you would go feet for some people would dive. I would, the main thing is to go feet first and then try to hit. And then immediately you want to arch so that you kind of go because yeah. it was a, you were jumping into a river. So sometimes it was 15 feet deep. And then sometimes it was six and a half feet deep <laughs> because it's always washing shit you know, <laughs> down. And uh, yeah, that's, inc- that's crazy. Well, you have any paralyzed friends? <laughs> more, more than more than one person one of my best friends died doing just that uh and he was one time when we were out there as kids we were all jumping off and i was at the bottom and he jumped off uh always he was the one that would do flips dive whatever and uh he hit the water and it didn't come up and all of us were like where the fuck is billy where's billy and he didn't come up he didn't come up and then all of a sudden, a little ways down the river, his shoes came up and dropped back down underwater. And everybody dove in and was fucking swimming across the bottom of the river, trying to grab Bill. And he was on the other side of the river with a beer that he had stashed in his fucking pants, laughing at everybody. Uh, and uh, that's it right there. Yeah. It's not a guy you'd hear about uh, uh, having a right. 40th birthday party. And when <laughs> Shaylee, when I was on, when I first met Shaylee, when we were on tour with Stanhope, when I went on tour with those guys, uh, I got a phone call in the middle of that letting me know that Billy died jumping off the fucking Salt River Bridge. <laughs> no shit. How old was he when he died? I don't know. It was uh, huh. uh, uh, 40s, I guess. I okay. well, don't know, 30s? Uh-huh. Eight years ago? Know. Eight, 40s. I like that. That's a good uh tells you a lot about a guy who does that fucking stunt. <laughs> a lot of that's fun. A, that's a tall Dangerous. bridge, man. That's yes. way the fuck up there, man. Yes. That looks scary. Wow. That's the, the bridge water does not look deep enough at even close to deep enough to do that. And yeah. right there, it's not. Seems like you do a short bungee jump and off that's of that, a, but not an a, old uh there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, that's an old picture. Or maybe that's a new picture. I haven't been there in a long time, but there used to be like a, one, it was one of those bridges with a cage over the top. So you could either jump off at road level or you could uh, climb up to the cage uh, that was probably another 20 feet higher. And the chain link to, uh, oh man. Uh, to that. Okay. So one of the times when I was in high school, uh, I went camping with my uncle down the river from here for about five days and we just camped out out there and caught catfish and stuff and had a great time we're coming back up and we caught a traffic jam right here and we're like what the fuck you don't catch a traffic jam right here it was a helicopter landing right next to that bridge and i got out Uh-oh. and went, walked over there and i was like what's going on over here and they're like some people uh fell off not the bridge but beyond it uh there's some high rocks that are the Ooh. same height and it boom fell down and uh it was turned out it was my be- one of my my best friend's girlfriend slipped off and my other buddy who i had signed up to join the army together we were going in on the buddy program we were going to go to basic training and uh uh school together and he tried to grab her and pulled him off they both flew off and smashed the fuck out of themselves broke themselves all up and had to get helicoptered out of there 
That was oh the wild God. area that we. So he wasn't a troop after that. Party now. <laughs> he, he had to go in. He had to go in uh, like eight months after I did, so we didn't go in together. I didn't wait for him. We weren't that close. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a tragic spot there. Damn, <clears throat> we partied in some wild territory. There's a spot here, uh, the Blue Pool. I've been up to it, but there's a spot up above where you can jump off, but only people that are fucking nutty would think you could jump off of there. And then eventually other people see it and then you'll get your secondary, you know, somebody getting uh, their courage up. But I, I've seen people just leap off of that thing without even a pause. Uh, and, and it's fucking dangerous as shit. And it's a, it's one of, it's a tough place to retrieve somebody who's badly injured. Uh, it's uh, a really slippery trail to get down to the lower part and shit. But every, Every fucking summer, every day. Is that every the Tamalich Falls? Uh, yeah. The blue pool at the Tamalich. <clears throat> yeah, check yeah, check and this I've out. seen the heat the guys. Awesome. Yeah, oh, it's it's wow, supposed, that's lovely. It's supposedly I've been right down in, in there, but I took the trail down to there. But where Shaley's at, people just leap the fuck off of there. And uh and it, Wait, it works, but you gotta jump out a ways. Yeah, you can see that there's rocks coming out along yeah. You know, like you definitely have to get mm -hmm. way out there to make sure you land in the middle of that so that you don't. Yeah. You know. And then when, you know, and then you can imagine the scene when somebody miscalculates and they're down uh -huh. there all tangled up and they got to get uh, past all the people that are slow on the path to get the board out there and all uh -huh. the shit. And they can't get, I don't think they can get a helicopter down in that little spot. So, Jesus. <clears throat> and it's also, uh, I've, uh, there's like nude, nude hippies will walk around there. It's not supposed. There's nothing I've ever heard that they're supposed to be nude hippies, but I've encountered them two or three times on the trail. It was usually That's not the disgusting. kind you complain about, like you know, it wasn't like the frog, <laughs> naked frog hippie. It was, uh, you know, women with political messages on their breasts. Probably <laughs> can't look too long. <laughs> But yeah, that's the spot. You can either stand there, or you can just fucking leap off and hope for the best. My eyes are up here, man. <laughs> well, why'd you write some shit? I'm trying to read what it says on your tip. Yeah, I'm against chickens being kept in cages too. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck! I got scared just climbing up on the high dive at the pool, so I wouldn't do any of that shit. No fucking way. Mm -hmm. My kid's braver about it than I am, but I, uh, yeah, I, uh, on the, well, we did a, we did a thing where we jumped off of a, off of a uh, crane or like a bungee jump. And then I was like a coward about it, but my kid, she just got to the end and just leaped the fuck off without countdowns or any, uh, any bullshit. She just leaped <laughs> we, off of there and I'm like, fuck, uh, I've, I've been, you know, I've, I've thought about, you know, ending ending my time <laughs> on occasion and uh, it's like but i'm also i'm nervous on the on the ledges of shit yeah, same like, here, you know, Andy. why I can't know. i just be all <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Yeah. Uh, you think you'd be fearless i don't want to hurt man i don't yeah. want to be scared and i don't want to hurt i just want to die mm -hmm. quickly yeah <laughs> I, could, I could be you know we had like, a uh, we went when i was my kids were teenagers we stayed in sedona at a slide rock state park and they had cliffs right there that went down into a creek and it was really narrow like it was a creek and it, people were jumping off these big <laughs> cliffs and my kids are like i want to jump off so i went over and i didn't want to jump off because i knew better so i went over and just checked the depth and i'm like well if you hit right here is and i just let my kids do it we talked about it a while back and i was like yeah that was a horrible decision i should have <laughs> never fucking let any and jenny was like i knew that and i'm like you didn't argue with me and she's like have you met you i'm not fucking arguing with you it's, uh, yeah, you're feeding your kid through a straw yeah for the rest you just of have time. your own yeah. parenting style yeah just it was ridiculous i was like why would i do that that was stupid <laughs> yeah yeah I did. I did let my daughter ride a uh, uh, mountain uh, bike down by the back of the car. This is, you follow the car down the hill and don't stop, you know, and this is like really, I look back at that. It's like fucking kind of, you know, she's like a little kid just learning to ride a bike and I'm letting her propel down a big steep downhill and back of the car with another <laughs> lane of traffic. With a v motor vehicle in the area? 
Jesus. Me and Chad uh, made mistakes, but <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make us when, bad when I was in Hawaii. There, there was a <laughs> when I was in Hawaii, there was people that are always going to take us out. We stayed there for two months at a time, so we got to meet people. And they're like, "Hey, there's this, uh, there's this like uh, jump off rock or whatever. There's a, there's a rope swing. It's uh, you have to park off the highway, and it's it, none of it felt like it was you know anything that like they're not bringing in a helicopter. They're not they're you're off the grid kind of thing like where we were." So we go crawling down the, the rock face, get down to this area, and there's this really nice looking pool, not as good as blue pool, but uh, and then there's these guys that are climbing up like up along the cliff to get to a ledge, and then there's a rope, and then the guy would get the rope and he'd swing out, and I'm watching going like most of under him is rocks, he has to let go at the as the as it swings out as far as as it can and then you let go and your momentum takes you and then you hit the water and i decided i would try that oh no and i got all the way up there <laughs> and I, I had the best intentions to let go i fucking froze and went <laughs> swinging bam <laughs> right back into the rock crumbled let go and just walked back down the, the i mean with all these people watching me oh, just no. the biggest Yo, that, shameful walk that's the best thing that ever happened to you shaley if you would have oh yeah i don't regret time, it yeah you made the right choice your shame and your you know hurt collarbone and hip <laughs> that's way better than you know being paralyzed i'm not that good at <laughs> physics you're saying, I, I thought I thought you were saying that if Shaley went out there and pulled off a, a, a double gainer off the back of it uh, and landed it, he would be a different man today. That's that possible a, too. That's a, that's that, a, I agree with that. I agree with that's that. That's possible too. <laughs> yeah, we had those a uh, rope swing when I was a kid that we would go to my we, uh, my dad had a speedboat and would take us out there uh, and uh, drop us off. While he went over and illegally spearfished bass, <laughs> uh, and so we would, and that was where I had learned uh, very quickly that you do rope swings tight armed, not long yep. armed. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. That, that's <laughs> how nobody like ever swing. says that really crucial key. Huh? That makes sense. I, that, yeah. That's that's why I never would have. That's why I clutched that fucking uh, rope and didn't let go. Is because it, before that we were uh, playing in uh, Parker, Arizona, out near Lake Havasu, and I was fucked up. And we had uh, two sets, and it was both during the day, and we got fucking hammered. And then we went out on a boat, and there was a there was a, a another rope swing, right? And it's just off the the side of the river. And I go to grab the rope to jump in and I'm wasted and I didn't grab high enough and I kept my arms long and my knees just <laughs> scraped all along the bank. And I just kind of like landed like at the end of the, like right where the water and the sand is. And it's like, yeah, this Shaley, you're just, you're done. You're done. There's, there's you me and a, water, just you stay should, in the boat. You should install a rope swing <laughs> at, at the compound. <laughs> Oh, to, yeah, to get some practice in. Get some practice. <laughs> Baby pool. Then Andy I, could be over the fence going, you can do it. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Let go. Let go. <laughs> let go. I, I feel like I should I feel like I should clarify too. I've told you guys I grew up really poor fucking redneck and I said my dad had a, a, a speedboat. Well my he did, but I didn't live with my dad either. But it was a piece of shit speedboat that broke down almost every time we were out there. One time I, we would, he always wanted to go water skiing and he's like, you got to learn to water ski. And I was maybe like 11 and, uh, he, uh, I'm, I'm in the water on the water skis and he hits it and goes to pull me up and I do not get pulled up. I eat shit. <laughs> and all of a sudden the boat just keeps fucking going. Turns out the throttle broke off <laughs> when he pushed it forward <laughs> to take off, to pull me up. So I was out in the middle of the fucking lake wow. while my, the boat was just gone. I took off a ski <laughs> and just held it up as high as I could while I was floating out there <laughs> just so a boat wouldn't fucking run That's me smart. over. 
I had no idea what to yeah. do. I was just a little kid <laughs> fucking stuck in the middle of a goddamn lake like your for a while. Just it laughed. took him a while. He had to fucking haul ass around the lake a bunch of times yeah. before he finally pulled the fuel line and then he was stopped. While he had he to get the it. boat fixed. He had to go yeah, fix the I, boat. Yeah, that I was stuck weeks. in the middle of fucking lake for a long time. <laughs> Three weeks I was out there. Three whole weeks. <laughs> I had to drink my own piss. I was actually, <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, you should write a Kindle single. A survive, yeah. And how you survive your story. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Water skiing's hard, man. Yeah, I never. I, my legs, my legs I didn't didn't, try after that. I, 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 could I would do always it. quit. I learned to do it, but yeah, it's like hard. It. Yeah, I never tried one time after that. <laughs> well, right. I can see why. That's <laughs> the kind of experience where you're like, I'm never doing this. Anymore. I would try it a couple of times. There's always like a lot of people wanting to do it or whatever. So I go and then, but I was yeah. always on the kneeboard. It's fucking, you know, I that's, ruptured my eardrum a couple of times on. Yeah, that's that. harder. I think it's real. It's well, it's just harder to take. Yeah, I think better. water ski and you <laughs> fall a little better on that. You just fall like a fucking rock. Just, the only thing you got to learn with water skiing is you just have to learn after a couple of mistakes that when you start to eat shit, you just immediately train yourself to let go. Once you have taught yourself to do that, you'll be fine because you just let John go. John Candy taught me that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. You learn from these things. Uh, go loose. <laughs> go loose. <sighs> oh man all right i think i might might have smoked too much weed here Ooh, I've been no. a lot of weed. <laughs> oh goodness gracious well you got two two chemos left now andy <clears throat> uh, yep i finished uh <clears throat> yep two more two more of everything <clears throat> i got two more punctures in my chest two more bags two more Dude. removals <clears throat> and six more self-injections it's nice um, to be this close right i mean it seemed like oh, yeah. forever it was just like ah you got so many more but yeah geez, that's like my, now my brother's got it my brother's doing chemotherapy david oh no he oh, had really? a, he got colon cancer and uh and then had the surgery and now they're gonna do chemo it's like fuck, man, everyone's man. copying off of you dude i know yeah he's 10 years older than me and he can't get his own thing <laughs> yeah, it's usually the younger kid copies the. But I'm kid. I'm gonna see David Spring, and even though David's gonna, I mean, he's going through recovering from his surgery and shit, and he'll be starting chemo. He's bringing Larry up, and Larry's getting his pacemaker, something doing done a day surgery with his pacemaker. So it's like a pretty sorry fucking lot that'll be family. yeah survival of the andrus brothers uh -huh. yeah i don't think I, I i suggested that david could come by with larry first and he goes no just gonna check him <laughs> into the hospital it's like you know and i get it you know when you you drive with larry for a couple hours probably don't need to have an extra half hour visiting right you know drag him out of the car get him back in it's like so yeah, it's a fucking banner day for the Andrus brothers. <laughs> family family business is cancer and business is good. <laughs> it seems like yesterday, Andy, when we were wondering if you were going to survive surgery. Uh -huh. Here you are almost done with the... Uh, yeah. yeah. Showing the ropes to your older brothers. Yeah, yeah I was bummed. I, was, uh, I felt bummed that he had to do the chemo part of it. So I was thinking maybe he'd escape it, but uh, different kind of cancer, different kind of cure. Yeah, yeah uh, dude. But <clears throat> it's not a, you know, but uh, yeah, he was, we were talking about politics. He goes, I just hope I'm around to see some of these fuckers burn. <laughs> I, I kind of feel that way too. I, you know, I'm yeah. kind of, I'm, you know, it's like I'm, I'm in seven seasons on this thing or whatever, and it's going to fucking wrap up after I go. Fuck uh -huh. that never gonna <clears throat> happen they're all dirty and they don't want to set that precedent i'm telling you it's possible yeah, of course carlin told us a long time ago it's all bullshit don't who don't believe any of it i know i know <laughs> no. so if you try to inject truth or honesty into any sort of politics right now 
the whole system would collapse. I forget his whole bit about it, but that was the <laughs> gist of it. And I was young and I was like, fuck, that makes sense. Yeah, he's not wrong. Yeah. I saw something, it was made sense. Uh, it, was a, <clears throat> it was a dude sitting there at a table and a warthog is coming up a path. He goes, oh, look, it's a warthog. The, uh, the tweet was, when politics meets religion, but this guy's guy, oh, it's a warthog coming. He goes, oh, can you pet him? And then, and then you hear, and then he's down on the bed and he goes, I need some help. I need help. I, need help. <laughs> I love those kind of videos. Like, can you pet a warthog? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, you can. Yeah, once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the one time. But yeah, you can pet anything. <laughs> and then you'll be like, yeah, a it's a matter of will. And then you'll be an outspoken. Just jump off uh, of any into any body of water. You yeah. can do it. You'll spend the rest of your life being a warthog alarmist. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 man! Give that <laughs> warthog the... some room. <laughs> yeah, that's the crocodile hunter. Yeah, right. I did it with a buffalo where I I got a little close to a buffalo and in, in Yellowstone, and uh, and it was I after see. the it was after the unbookables road trip so my the i i think i well you don't even want to be fucking that that dumb anyway but i was out near buffalo and then i tried to uh well they made me aware that they could fucking kill me you know so you then i took aware off. that it was the size I started, of a but I, my back and it's a wild animal <laughs> right yeah it was hey hey kitty kitty yeah, big fella. I just <laughs> I just watched a video of somebody doing that in Yellowstone and getting fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's I mean yeah, I saw those yeah. videos after I was there. <laughs> uh, nobody forewarned me, so I was a novice. But I uh, my back was so screwed up, so I just I mean it probably saved me because instead of running, I just walked uh, at a steady clip and didn't spook it. But it seemed you know like it went from I was just getting a nice picture to uh, oh fuck. This is a big ass cow. <laughs> you weigh a ton. Uh huh. Pure muscle. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I did, he didn't charge I me. I mean, look at that picture I, right there. We're a mm -hmm. hundred feet away from it in the picture, and you can see its dick. <laughs> that is not an animal yeah. to be trifled with. No, no. And he's I, showing his dick. Talked to about this. In that one too. Oh, we yeah. may have talked. We may have talked about this before, but like in Alaska, it's illegal to fuck with a moose at all like if yeah. you can't try to pose for a picture or i learned that up a there too a carrot or <laughs> any, because they will murder you and it happens uh -huh. all the time yeah they're just like fucking if a goat and a squirrely homeless guy could make a super bean <laughs> that's what a moose is look at grandma squirrely fucking nailed right there that's before Holy she's probably flung into the air oh yeah, I, got, I have to see tall. that video there's no i have to find that video holy shit that's hilarious already look at, right look at her daughter just abandoning her like well see you there's, fucking later you, maybe I, told I, you, I told here. you not to wear that sweater <laughs> <laughs> it's too bright i said <laughs> look at this one how oh, fucking fuck. scary is that oh yeah that i would i think i would watch Bill's a camera finally of, though uh, that, that uh, nervous smile. <laughs> yeah. And then that's, that's a marathon really there, too. Because he's <laughs> in the front. <laughs> that's yeah. probably 100, 200 meters. It's easy to smile when you're the lead gazelle. That's right. Yeah. yeah. There's one. To be faster than the buffalo, just faster <laughs> than your friend. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a dude and a, uh, a girl, and, a, and it was a, I think it was a buffalo. It was a cut like a year ago, it was floating, but he, he took, like, she got hit, and then he's like, takes, you know, it's like, what are you going to do, though? Like, <laughs> you got to leave the girl behind and, and hope that the buffalo finishes her so you don't have to hear about it all the way she can't the ride next... you out. yeah i mean could you imagine you know like trying to come back from that pick her up after a couple of days at the hospital sorry man i just got a head of steam going there <laughs> I, to... I didn't realize you'd fallen for a few minutes there until i got back to the camera i was already at the lodge but i, I thought I, you were I right behind me gone but i think almost everybody would be you know I don't know. There's a, a couple of people run back, but uh, the dude kept running. Be not that's. I'd like to follow up on that. It's called, are they together? And just you know, that, like that'd be a cool documentary. Like if I you think. Want to go even, on a second date? We'll pay for it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Up to her. laughs> or would you like to just stick with the penguin and the seal? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys saw this last week. Uh, they did the, the running of the bulls. Yeah. Had, like a bunch of guys got gored. Like, I mean, look, Ooh. this is just fucking insane. Oh, yeah. I like to see the bulls gore those. It, it, and also the cool those. thing about cool it is it's like, barbaric. I hope it's like kind of like dudes who are maybe, yep, maybe I'm, 10 years younger to our age who do that and like that's on their bucket list. It seems like yeah, a really yeah. dumb thing to have on a bucket list. I think but so especially too. when you've lost a step, it's hard <laughs> to admit to yourself. You can't really fucking bend and twist and get, you know, and uh, and it's usually those dudes you see getting fucking uh, knocked down. And like this guy. Makes, what? Yeah. I mean, running in be... Birkenstocks. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah. What, what else is on that guy's bucket list? That guy's about <laughs> to do a backflip. <laughs> yeah. over he's, that uh he's in the he's process gonna jump right off the there. salt river bridge next <laughs> that's one of those uh, uh that's one of those events where i definitely root for animals i don't you know it's it's not yes. if it were on like I a don't, hot dog eating contest i'd watch it every every year and you know because i think they do like six seven days of it or whatever uh, yeah yeah so there's and a if ton i remember of, correctly they just murdered the bulls at the end of it. oh they're going right to the bull ring yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there's a big yeah. barbecue at the end of it and when you get all the people who get gored uh, can eat the bull that fucked them up. Listen, I'm not I'm not against murdering every one of them, but you you know, eating them, but do it humanely for fuck's sake. If if you're gonna try to make a game of it, then I hope they win. Fuck could That's combine me. the American bucket list and then just jump out with an AR uh, 47 <laughs> and just butcher them as they're running from the cows. <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna be what you did to the cows instead of running. Oh, I'm I'm sounding more like I've been home a lot alone and shit. Now I'm starting to develop into a troubled loner shooter <laughs> situation. I'm unarmed. I don't even have a bow and arrow. I can't even yell complimentary stuff, let alone hurt somebody with a disparaging. I couldn't have said something like, you're not running very good girls. <laughs> have you seen those two girls that just went by here? Uh, <laughs> you should be running like that. <laughs> oh, right. let's, let's yeah. do some. Uh, let's do some recommendations. What do you say? Oh, oh shit! Man. <laughs> I'm gonna go first because I fucked up again, and I've all I I can only recommend track and field as I've been watching three days of four days of uh, track meets. But hey, man, give them women a try. Uh, it's cool it's fucking 100 meter dash world record uh from uh that uh fuck i can't think of her name she's got like four of them but jamaican uh she's fucking it's it's something to watch somebody who's that much faster than everybody else anyway fuck it i don't have a recommendation sorry that was a recommendation all right, all right. thanks jeff that was good i liked it I don't know what it was. What was the recommendation? Well, to watch the track and field. But we'll it'll watch, be, watch it'll the be live a, sports that yeah. your uh, well, the Ocho be... is playing on ESPN eight. Yeah, <laughs> get out and watch yeah, the yeah. marathon. I watched this morning. You know, my recommendation's already passed. Sorry. But, well, uh, uh, it, since you don't have one, really, Chad um, <laughs> said I, I did. I, I really don't either, but I, but I did watch. I do try to watch some of the things that that we talk about, and I uh, got into a, a little bit of a jag yesterday, um, and and watched a couple of things, and and I remember the um, the uh, girl. girl in the picture. Yeah. God damn, that fucking thing is that is. Uh, one of the most dis- i mean people suck disturbing I mean, right not all people but just the, the the what a human can do to other humans is just uh uh just eye-opening yeah. uh, I, and- I got part way through it and realized i called jenny over because i called jenny i go i gotta watch this by myself with the kids you know because uh, i gotta talk about yeah. it with these guys and i got part way through and i called jenny and i over and i go hey if i tell you the first part of this story can you tell me the <laughs> second part and I told her the first part, and she told me the second part. And I go, we watched this on a different goddamn documentary show. Everybody oh, really? tells the same stories uh, uh, in different ways. So I've seen that story before. So yeah. I know oh, I didn't finish fuck. that one, but I do know how it ends and the twists and turns. I had never seen it. And yeah. what the fuck, man? So by her haircut, it's going to be a sad story. It's yeah. it's interesting because they... Uh, you watch the, it, Andy? 
Not yet. Okay, I won't ruin it. All right. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't should. say anything more. Well, I mean, good. when when I get when I get it kind of uh, <clears throat> warned or I get a sense that it's going to be like fucking troubling, sometimes troubling. I wait until I'm in. Yeah, that I'm, you know, like I don't yeah. want to ruin a good mood with yes. troubling because I'll it's focus troubling. on it for. I'd say pass it. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. You got to be. Wait till I'm done with you chemo and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to be in a mood for some dark shit. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting healthy. So that, that was one that I. That, that's what I watched. Uh, hey, I've been watching lately, or just. Did you stick on with uh, the old man? Cause I find that show. I can't annoying find. Now. Where is that? Oh, it was it's so on, boring, dude. It's on FX, but it just after the first two episodes. I, once he got laid, yes, he got fucked. Andy, he fucked the first chick. He, you know, and uh, and she <laughs> manipulated him. He avoided professional hitmen his entire life, and all of a sudden, he's at the mercy of some Airbnb host that he yeah. banged. And and it's, it's and he a fuck, fucking he fuck, dumb story. He fucked and I her. Fucking hate he it. fucked her, and now he's letting his guard down. And then she's got now she's got uh, half of his body. It's an age old story, Andy. That yeah, means, so I don't, uh, I unrecommend the old man. Yes, I do this in it. Unrecommendation. <laughs> I unrecommend it too, Andy. Thank you. Yeah. Well, then I'm not going to look for it because I I was really enjoying uh, Jeff Hulu Hulu's and uh, checking that out and uh, yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. There's just so many fucking platforms. I can't keep track mm-hmm. of what is on what. And then I find out there's a live Hulu, which gives you things that I don't have on my regular <laughs> Hulu. And that's how Chad saw something that I was looking for that I thought was on Netflix. And then I go to Paramount Plus. I go, where the fuck up? Prime. Not Let's to try mention Prime. The climate change and the women. That live rights. Hulu is a, a fantastic <laughs> investment. That's my, my most used one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mine's yeah, premium guess. YouTube. Uh, no uh, commercials i have premium youtube too i love it i spoil myself on, uh, those my entire entertainment budget goes to those sorts of things yeah so uh i i right. I, I, I will i can i i'll do uh Go can ahead. i do two real quick yes yeah <laughs> those yeah. will be the first two recommendations <laughs> right <laughs> since no, we one of these guys they, they started doing one they for me one. I, I have two so i have one that i enjoyed and uh only i don't i mean i don't i don't it'll be a short one it's called that dirty black bag and it's on amc plus yep okay and it is a i'll just say it's a western it has some dark humor to it and uh, the violent scenes are often and gory and uh it's a fun watch any dogs uh, in like it? Eight or nine, uh, no, no dogs and no uh, uh, broke back mountains. Yeah, no odd sexual energy. Uh, <laughs> well, and and nobody's. It's one of those ones where nobody's off limits too. You you'll be like, oh, I love that character. What the fuck? Why'd they murder that huh. character in season? Yeah, I love episode those. three. Uh-huh. So As Dexter. Was yeah, like it's a, yeah, it, it's fun in that way. So that that's a fun one just for a violent thing. It's not a great story <laughs> so far, but it's a it's fun to watch. Is that anywhere else but AMC Plus? Is that I don't know if I have I don't I don't know, know, but you guys talked about watching the new uh uh call Saul and that's what that's on. So I thought maybe you it's guys just on regular, maybe before. it's on AMC and AMC plus on uh replays or something. Says shit. uh let's see here. You can see it um, on watch the show on YouTube TV premium subscription, Sling TV, Amazon Prime. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, a lot of times they'll Sling. say Amazon Prime, but then you go there and it's not Amazon Prime. It's Amazon Prime, but you have to pay money you have to, to pay watch for it. it. Yeah. So yeah. You have to, it, yeah, you have to yeah. sign up for Amazon but, Prime. But we'll uh, let you sign up for AMC Plus. But if you haven't done a free trial, then you can do a free trial and watch it. As long as you remember. Done. Yeah. Gotta remember. Yeah, it, it, you you can get to AMC Plus through uh, Prime. So yeah. yeah, and then the the second one that I wanted to do is more in line with something that I think is really fun that other people that you guys. I actually texted Stanhope the other day and told him I'm watching this. Find it. Uh, I think you'll like it, and I stand by that. And uh, it's called Fasten Your Seatbelt, and it's hosted by the dude who was the uh pilot in the movie airplane oh I yeah think. yeah i yeah. forget his name robert, uh, robert yeah robert hayes robert yes. hayes That's yes. robert hayes 
Yeah. Um, it's all just footage of people behaving badly in oh, airports yeah. and at, on airplanes. Oh man! So it's oh, all God. the the it's all it's like a, a I don't know. It's good. It's uh, what's it on, Chad? A A and E is the A&E, channel okay, it's on. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know if you can watch it on the app of A and E. I watch it on Hulu Live. Like I said, that one's got the all the stuff that. That's I a like. funny. That's a cool host to have for that show. <laughs> it's, <laughs> exactly. It's, I think uh, you can definitely get uh, clips on YouTube, so you can check it out there to see if you want to spend the money. But the one get- I saw, Chad, you you I think you sent one up. Yeah. That I that I saw that was really fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they, short too. The the clips, yeah, you don't. Yeah, even just on YouTube, if you if you yeah. don't have anything, go to the A and E channel on YouTube, and there, Chaley's right. There's a bunch of clips of them, and they're yeah. fucking hilarious. And uh, for some reason, I haven't seen them on Twitter. A year, or, you know, you would think you would have seen all of these. Uh, one lady demands to see the manager of the airport, <laughs> uh, and they play that one repeatedly, <laughs> like in the intro. I don't even want to skip the intro. I'll watch it over and over because it's hilarious <laughs> when that lady demands to see the manager of the airport. So. I'd like to see Mr. O'Hare, please. <laughs> so, yeah. What do you mean there's no Mr. LAX? <laughs> yeah. so, His yeah. name's right out there. Yeah. I'm going to talk to LaGuardia. Do you know how many flights I take a year, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a LaGuardia. Yeah, well, there was O'Hare no also, but they're long. Oh, was there? They're not the managers of the airport. <laughs> no, they certainly aren't. No. And Mr. LAX has been dead for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's long gone. Oh, yeah, it's good. All right, my uh, recommendation. I know Shaley was uh, watching this as well. Um, it's I think it's probably my favorite show. Uh, that's in, that's in this kind of category of shows, but the new uh, season on Netflix, the Netflix, you know, release of Alone, season eight, oh, yeah. just came out, and uh, whenever that happens, I burn right through those. I think that's I fucking love watching these people do that shit. It it, it boggles my mind. I, I some of them I didn't think this season was as good as the season before when that fucking crazy uh Alaskan guy Roland built that fucking house out of rock and then <sighs> stabbed a muskox to death with his fucking knife. I don't think that, <laughs> with, that, that with a guy, knife. Yeah. That, that guy was topped. Nobody <laughs> will ever top that guy. He ate that guy <laughs> ate he kept the stomach contents of that muskox in its in its own stomach lining, and then boiled it and ate it as a stew. Yeah, and you talk about eating all of the animals. Like nobody will ever top that guy. But uh, this season was uh, they were in uh, grizzly bear country, and it was fucking grizzly crazy. mountain is what the the episode crazy was the how close it, it, there, they there put so these many people fucking bears, so many bears. I cannot uh. believe that they do this. I can't believe no one's died on this show yet. Yeah. I, no, they're 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 pushing to get you don't I, I I think I texted you this. They don't need to have carnivores <laughs> to make it be challenging. It's oh, yeah. challenging already to be in that environment and to try and thrive or just survive is hard enough. People don't make it just without there being right. bears. It's and, and all insane. they have is a goddamn bear horn bear mace horn and yeah spray. yeah fuck that it was that's uh, a good one that that was season's good, good yeah it was a good season i it, what i really like about alone is it's got it, it, this is a funny analogy to make but it's got the same thing that the great british baking show has and that is by the time they get down to a the favorite last, of mine the last the last by the time they get down to the last four or five people, <coughs> I'm cheering for everyone. Yeah. There's nobody. All like, of them should I'm like, win. They'll show one guy, and I'm like, oh, I hope he wins. And then they'll show yes. a girl, I'm like, I hope, I hope she wins. I, I don't care girl, who wins. Oh, I just want to watch. Wins. Fuck, yes. I want them all to win. Yeah. And I, I like that about reality show uh, television contests like this. Because... And it's and alone is is singular. And I, I think we've talked about this before, but 
um, you know, American reality show contests have a hard time understanding this. Is I learned it in watching the Great British Baking Show. You don't need a villain. American shows want to manufacture yes, drama. Exactly. They 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 make a villain on the show and they make sure that there's a villain and they think, well, we got to have that or else there won't be any drama. And they, they play up understand. a villain. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what they don't understand is that even whether it's baking fucking cakes or living out on a mountain all by yourself for 60 or 70 days. The people who are good at this shit are interesting on their own. And you don't need a villain because you're glued to the, because you're cheering for all of them. And that's as compelling as cheering against someone. And that's what I like about alone. And then you get into the, you get past the people who flame out right away. And you get to these people who are out there, you know, 50, 60, 70 days, 80 days, and they start having fucking epiphanies and they say shit that is like deep wow. and wise. And it's wow. like, holy fuck, man. I just, I'm impressed by all these people and the show is great. And uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Every season's great, except for the season where they did alone companions where they were two of them yeah yeah it's that, like that, i don't that, know if you've read the title of your show but that's not yeah, alone yeah they're fucking two guys playing checkers oh. in their cabin like no that's not how it works dummy <laughs> but all the other seasons were really good this season was 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 really good i fucking love it I, it's insightful and inspiring and uh, it's nice to sit on your couch and eat popcorn and watch someone starve themselves I've, for days. I've, 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 I've <laughs> cried more than once at the end of Alone. Oh my God. Like when, whenever, the, whenever their wives show up or whatever, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh man, you <laughs> feel that shit. When it's, you know, shit. And, and it's, it's, you know, it's probably staged. I don't give a fuck. I enjoy it. But uh, uh, I will I say too, the uh, season nine, I'm, I'm on episode three, season nine. And uh, I won't say much about it because you guys haven't seen it yet but i will say i started to see it in season eight but it's funny to watch it in season nine how everybody now has been a fan of the show alone right. so they all know it's a starvation contest right. so the video of them when they're auditioning when they flash back is all these skinny fuckers and then you see all these big fat fuckers yeah, they don't even look like the, the same show. person <laughs> yeah. yeah they're all just they yeah. all just put on a ton of weight but yeah. I will say this that uh, won't give away too much is as much as there is bears in season eight, I'm only up to season or I'm only up to episode three in season nine, but these motherfuckers catch so many trout that I keep expecting to see Fonzie in his boat in the <laughs> background of these motherfuckers. Yeah. He's probably not far away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that it's fun whenever there's well, an abundant when there's a when there's there's a, a you know a food source nearby, it's more right. fun. You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not as sad for them. It's yeah. I was when I was watching this season, Mitchell and I mm -hmm. watching it, and you know, you talk about it, it. It really is a. It becomes a starvation thing. You know, you have to be comfortable starving yourself while you're trying to survive, and that's why I thought that I had this idea watching this season eight. They should when they tap out, they should say, "Oh, he made it." you know, 30 days, or he made it 21 days, they should also tell you how many meals he had. Because it's like, if you made it 21 days, but you only ate once, you really didn't do very well. It might, oh, you made it 21 days. But you know, like, if you can say, oh, this guy had, he ate, you know, he had, he ate th yeah. three fish, uh, four uh, hares, he, he shot a grouse, you know, like that's the kind of thing. Like, I want to know those kind of stats. I want next gen stats for a little. And they have them. And one, definitely of the things, stats. one of the things they don't mention very often is that one of their items that they can bring in is like food. So, like, you they can bring jerky or trail mix and stuff. So, what? some of these people, yeah, you have to look it up on the online is that they get those 10 items, but they don't tell you everybody's. 10 items i noticed they can bring food uh like a limited amount uh, uh like one dude in the new one i was watching he brought a bunch of sea salt one of his things was like a pound of sea salt 
so that he could keep electrolytes that's, up and I mean, season his fish. That's and, not really food, though. That's right. No, no, no. Seasoning but but, but, but there is jerky and trail mix. Uh, there are uh, actual food uh, options as one of your I, items. I was arguing with my son about it, and I said that one of my 10 items, and I'm an idiot, so I, I understand that. But I'm like, one of my 10 items would be like Tolstoy's War and Peace. It's like, you know, like you're fighting. Some sort that. of entertainment. So I'm like, that's a really long, hard, difficult book to read. And you have nothing but fucking time. So okay. like, you think that's a stupid idea, but then it's like, you gotta, you've got to, you've got to occupy your brain for a I, lot, a lot of time. You're all by yourself for fucking ever. I would take, I would take something like that. Pages. I would definitely take something like that. And I weigh 250 pounds. Two of my items would be weed. And then I would just make a fucking hut and lay inside there smoking weed, living off my fat, <laughs> reading fucking books. See, that's the problem with Naked and Afraid is yeah. that you get one of these guys on there and he goes, look, I know what to do. Lay around here and do nothing for three weeks. Just drink a bunch of water. And if I can get some food, I get some food, but I do no work whatsoever. And it's like that kick the fucker off the show. Cause there's been, there's, I've seen that on that show. And it's like, what they're doing is, is they want the conflict between the uh, person who's trying really yeah. hard and the, and the layabout. And it's like, this is not, this is stupid. Right. This is I not, mean, the, this is not the spirit of the show. Right. And they that's probably what, agree on it. That's what makes the loan great is that there is none of yes. that. There's not even a fucking camera. None of that bullshit. They're their own cameraman. So, yeah. so I mean, it's, how much, you know, you always question what's pre-produced and, you know, it's all fucking smoke and mirrors, but with no cameraman there, it's just, I mean, how much of it's produced? It's real, you know? If, some you, of watch, it, if you go back and watch, it made Sur me go back. Survivor Man? So I, well, I love Survivor Man. Yeah, Les Stroud. Yeah. yeah. But I went He's back and watched some of season seven of Alone, which is to me the best season. There's a moment when it's down to the final three people. It's it's Roland, the crazy Alaskan guy, and these two girls. And the two girls are both absolutely incredible. The one girl who gets, I guess this is some spoiler alert. We've already yeah. told you Roland wins. But the, the girl uh, Callie it's been out for a while. The girl Callie is like she has to she she has to leave because she has frostbite in her But stuff, she yeah. is getting she is getting mentally stronger when she she's like enjoying her like meditations and she's going into her brain and she's enjoying it like she had to like cross the line. i've never seen anyone truly cross the line like that where they're like they're they're glad they're out there at that point that was incredible but uh, my favorite moment of that season was the girl who got third place who was ice fishing forever and had was like so hungry and then she finally fucking caught a fish and she pulls this fucking fish out of this ice hole and then she just goes into this crying, laughing hysterics as like she's like flopping around on the ice with this fish. And it was just like, it makes me cry laugh every time I see it. The, the girl on Shaley's far left, she, oh, it, it's incredible. Because one of them on that. She's also a host on, uh, on eight. One one of those uh, one of the chicks in that season, I absolutely hated with every fucking <laughs> bit of my being, and actively rooted for her to get m just murdered by something every episode. And I don't remember which one it was. Uh, it might be the one behind Shaley's head uh, because I don't recognize oh, her. That's a dude. No, that's no, a those dude. are okay. the last three right yeah. there. I thought all three. I thought the last it, three were. It might have been awesome. one of the ones that fell off before the last three. Then I think it was on that one with it was chick. Heavy, you see the one. clip of of this girl catching this fish. She fucking. She's so fucking hungry, and then she She's pulls this fish with, out of yeah. this bowl, and then she goes. She's she goes into she pulls she you know she takes the fish and the pole and everything off camera to the side like fucking snaggle puss exit stage left and then you can just hear her laughing and shit and then she comes back into the screen in in the way in the background and she's still just like ah and the fish is flopping and she's still got a hold of it and she's like she doesn't know what to do she's like 
she's she's just so she could have lost it easily well it's a she's on a fucking frozen yeah i mean there's nowhere for it to go she that was her whole point she got Uh the fuck away from the hole yeah yeah. so Uh but it was just incredible i i watched that again after i watched season eight and i got just as much joy out of it uh the third or fourth time i've seen it so check it out if you're not a fan of alone uh you should be oh yeah definitely you should be and I'm gonna start watching. I'm gonna watch episode. I'm gonna start with seven. Watch, yeah. Definitely, watch. Well, we'll do whatever you got uh, <laughs> co- where you got them commercial free. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can get them on Prime. Uh, you early, can buy them. Uh, you can buy the whole season for like sixteen well, are, bucks. Yeah, the only one season at a time is on Netflix, right? Uh, I'm not yeah. sure. I got, yeah, I got, eight, like I said, that Hulu watch, live. Yeah, I've Andy, got from one through nine on Hulu live. Yeah. If Andy, if you have not seen it before, watch the one on Netflix, just watch season eight. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. And, uh, but mm-hmm. season seven mm-hmm. I, is, has, I mean, there's some pretty impressive people on season eight, but season seven had the real fucking bangers. I mean, any one of those three, I feel like any one of those three on season seven could have won almost any of the other seasons. The, there's they were fucking hardcore man there's a spin-off that is uh it's good it's not great but it's uh mm-hmm. worth it if you've watched all the other ones and you're waiting to watch something new uh called uh alone the beast i think oh yeah it, uh, it centers around uh uh hunting they give them more opportunity to hunt, I believe. I don't know. I don't, I've, uh-huh. I've smoked too much weed. I don't fucking remember <laughs> stuff that I watched last year. Yeah, well, I think I'm getting proper dosage. <laughs> it's great watching that shit, though, because, like, you know, I don't know anything about hunting. I've never done it, and it fascinates me. But to watch somebody like, okay, I just shot this thing. Now I've got to figure out what to do with it. Like they have got more problems after they shoot it that, than they had before they shot it. It's that's when the work begins, cases, dude. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I understand there's a lot of work, but it almost in a way it's almost worse for them. And you know, like it was like, all right, now I got to construct this thing where I got to. I got to preserve one guy it. That one season built that fucking tower thing to put his fucking meat up on top of it and then oh, to keep it from the wolverines the wolverine he, he accidentally left the ladder up yeah. that was the one yeah. time the wolverine went right up the ladder and fucking ate oh yeah that's he, he, he like he killed the wolverine with a fucking I'm sure that was a production assistant the fucking wolverine with it he went, he went after it at night he wow. went after it he caught so, it out there and he went he, after it he, he only found it over. because he had his camera he was using the you camera see the eyeballs night vision oh. uh-huh yeah and then instead of going, Dude. holy fuck, that's a Wolverine, he went, fuck you. And he charged right at it and he fucking got him. Like, it's just, these people Dude. are insane you, and incredible. You, you talk about, like, you don't know about hunting. Like, I hunt, so I'll watch this at night and, like, have a, a hunt boner and then get up in the morning and go up in the fucking woods <laughs> and actually <laughs> be in that shit, with, you know, like I'm a, like I'm a, yeah. like I'm a cosplayer. Yeah, three hours, four it. hours. I've been out here. I'm the winner. I, I pretend when I'm out there. I pretend <laughs> completely. Like, what if like, everybody else is gone? This is it. I'm yeah. just out here now. I have to yeah. figure it out. A big old hunt boner. Yep. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Nature uh, jacking is just an audition tape for naked and afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andy wouldn't. You wouldn't need to bring your book. Yeah. yeah. You'd have, you'd have a way to fill your time. Yeah. yeah, probably for the until you get real dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're always looking for things to, you know, like put in the cracks of their log cabins, you know, because there's a, the wind's coming in. Uh, You'd be set, geez. dude. You just have your own, you just a fucking. Boy, it's warm in here. You don't even have a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of friction yeah. going on. <laughs> Produce it up. Producers are like one of this guy's items is lotion. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, that would be important. <laughs> I think your hands would get calloused if you asked to do any labor. Well, that's why uh, <laughs> you you shoot a beaver and then you have a uh, beaver. <laughs> yeah, one of my yeah, items of po- like you oil. could bring a pocket pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I brought a cook stove. I got a, a something I could come in. Pocket pussy. <laughs> It doubles as a water cup. <laughs> Can also use it as a hat. 
<laughs> Where is a hat for river crossings? You can, you can have one flip flop. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, rim smells like weed. All right. We did oh, it. Oh fuck, I love you guys. Yeah, I love you guys. It was fucking awesome. So uh hey, uh we got a Patreon episode coming up, everybody. You're gonna be very excited uh when you hear about it. Some of you on Twitter already know all about this because you've seen us talking about it on Twitter. Uh, but we're gonna be talking to our uh, good friend Billy Wayne Davis on Patreon. So uh if you're not a Patreon subscriber, you should be just five dollars a month. And uh, you get all of this stuff we do here and then the other stuff like this uh, episode we're going to do with Billy Wayne. So uh, sign up. Ish- issues with Andy. Uh, Patreon.com slash issues. With I'll send Andy. you some flowers. You sign up. Will you though? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> so get a nasty email from someone who's <laughs> waiting for their Andy flowers. You send those hydrangeas I've been waiting for weeks. Did you get some flowers? Where'd you get those? I kind of trimmed them in the backyard. Got them oh, from the nice. yard. Those are, nice. They're great. I, there's flowers downstairs, but I like to have a bouquet for myself. That's beautiful. Good for you. God damn it. Stop and smell the hydrangeas. What are they? Hyd- hydrange? Take a hydrangea bush. Hydrangeas. Yeah. Been, a, been a flower connoisseur myself lately, Andy. My canna lilies are uh, blooming, and I'm very, very proud of them. Uh huh. A bunch of fags. Jeez. horny toads around somebody on facebook said that posted i posted it and someone goes oh you've hit menopause when that <laughs> happened to my dad he started baking <laughs> bread and i thought it was fucking hilarious yeah <laughs> cracking yeah. heads now i'm cracking eggs and making <laughs> vegan omelets look at that look at that variegated can of lily right there that oh, is variegated mm-hmm. totally ah. lovely totally gate yeah put the gay and variegated bags oh, oh, yeah, yeah. that's my monsoon buddy right there Shaley. <laughs> look at that yep. regal horned lizard it's a motherfucking dinosaur thing. and i find sure them is. since i was a child i've found those sorry if we were gonna end it's maybe podcast. yeah oh, no, that's incredible. Look so, at that thing. so uh i'm gonna tell you about these i've been finding these since i was a kid the cool thing about these, uh, especially as a kid, is when they get cornered by a predator, they will burst the blood vessels uh, in their eyes and shoot blood three feet out of their <laughs> eyes at their predators. They'll, do, they'll shoot it like, in, like a coyote's trying to eat a lizard. They'll shoot blood in its fucking mouth and it'll run away. Uh, those awesome. things are amazing creatures. And wow. uh, they look like a dinosaur. They're and they're really slow, so you can catch them and hold them. And they don't shoot blood at you when you catch them. No, no, you really, really have to piss them off. I've never ever done one of my coolest things ever. When I was a kid, uh, my memory I was probably 11 years old. I was sitting in the uh, front yard with my uncle Randy, uh, and we were listening to Black Sabbath on a cassette with one of those one speaker fucking stereos, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I was maybe like 11 or 10 and I, for some reason, I, I, I all of a sudden was jamming out and I looked behind me and there's like a mountain that's like a, almost a cliff that ran up the side of this, uh, where we were sitting. And, uh, and I thought, I bet I could, if I ran full speed, I bet I could run right up the top of that. I remember <laughs> distinctly this whole memory and I, and, and, uh, and, and I looked at it a couple of times. I kept looking back and I thought, I bet I could run up the top of this thing. And I sp- all of a sudden I just turned around and just ran and sprinted and I made it. I sprinted right up the top of this thing. And when I got up to the top, there was a big horn toad. We called them regal horn lizard is what they're called. It was sitting right there. So I just reached down and picked it up and then came back down the mountain and walked back over to where me and my uncle were listening to black Sabbath with it in my hand. And he goes, what the fuck just happened? You, you <laughs> did you did you spot that fucking thing at the top? Like you you turned your head like a bunch a few times, you know. Like you, I was like, and I didn't. I ne- I don't think I ever told him the truth. I think I just kind of fucking yeah. 
was uh, ten years old. Right, like, Moses, like, right, Moses run up the hill and come down with the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Regal horn lizard monsoons, man. They bring out all kinds of shit. We got frogs wow. in our pond. Bullfrogs. Never had a bullfrog. There it is. Boom. Nice. Yeah, well, bullfrogs. That 20, that's your pond. Yeah, that's my pond. Uh, yeah, man. I, I uh, there's a. a I, Chad's I posted, like the biodome now. <laughs> oh, I, Shaylee, do you have the picture that I the most recent one I posted on Twitter of the pond on there? Uh, that I one don't. is a, a really a good shot of what my pond looks like right you now. The monsoons get... are fucking amazing here. I, I posted a tarantula the other day. I've been posting oh, monsoon shit. stuff. A you could probably get Polly Shore to do his one man oh. show in your biodome. A vinegaroon. <laughs> I'm Steven not very Baldwin. far from where that was filmed, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was in Arizona, wasn't it? That was in Oracle at the it's Biosphere. It's now a self-guided tour to walk through that thing. There's a, I haven't watched it. There's a documentary about that thing. I think everybody started banging each other and turned on each other in that <laughs> experiment. Yeah, it didn't last. It we, didn't last. We should eat a bunch of mushrooms and go on the biodome tour. Oh, tour. I would love that. Do a show. Tracy from- and I have been talking about going there for forever. Yeah. Yeah, like we just I mean, every is. time you drive back from Phoenix, you see it uh, the yep. ad that you're coming up on it. Oh, yeah, yeah I right. go that way to Globe sometimes. It's uh, it's not very far to uh, get there from here. Right on. But yeah, the monsoons around here are bringing out fucking like Shaley said, weeds four foot high. You mow them down ah. three days later, they're two feet high again. Yeah, that's what the pond's looking like right now. Oh, oh man, that's shit. lovely. Nice. Yeah, go to Chad's uh, Twitter. He's got tons of um, manopause pictures. They're they're beautiful though, so uh, it, it's it's definitely mm. worth it. The, the softer side of Chad. Yeah, oh, I love it. Yep. That's beautiful. All right, you guys. Uh, so Billy Wayne Davis is coming up on on Patreon. Uh, we're very excited about that. He's very very funny, and uh, so join uh, join us over on Patreon. If not, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell a friend. And uh, and we'll see you right back here next week. Later.